The fabric of a culture is stitched together by its people. Here, in parts of rural Southern Africa, some women are treated more like fabric scraps than important parts of society. It's very difficult. You see, if you don't have anything for yourself, people, they don't consider you. The family is saying, I don't have enough money to send you to school. Nobody wanted to marry you. You have to contribute towards this family now. So they clean and they do whatever they can, but they don't bring finances in, so. If you have a skill and knowledge for doing something with your own hands, it can help you. It can help everyone. What man discards, God polishes and shines. Now women here have an opportunity to learn valuable trade skills at the Create Hope Skills Center, and you can get involved to help make this possible for them. We realized if we don't start investing in developing the women, then um, it's really going to be a limited impact we would have in the community. We then started the skill center, and for a start, we've got the sewing and we've got the leather work happening here right now. Ginger, you can come in. This is our sewing side. Mama Alice. It's nice to meet you. Together with Reaching a Generation, Hand of Hope, the outreach arm of Joyce Meyer Ministries, is threading the needle to sew a beautiful new tapestry where women see their value and dream big dreams for their future. And I believe that God, when he looks at you, he sees somebody that he knows very intimately. You're looking at entrepreneurs in training, women learning trades so one day they can own a business and generate their own income. I was happy. I I just said, ah, thank you, God. You have answered my prayers. I wanted to go somewhere so I can do a short, a short course of sewing. That's my dream. So when I had this opportunity, I have to grab it. Not only are these women learning to build a business, they're also gaining knowledge on how to launch children's churches in their villages. <laughs> The Create Hope Skills Center is making it possible for women to earn their own money. Otherwise, options are limited. And then you, you, you hit it, and then you sew with a hand. They would maybe farm in the fields, and we've had a few years of drought where when our elephants come through, I mean, in this region that we're in right now, there are multiple elephant corridors. So what elephants do for years and years, they actually would follow the same pathway to get through to the river. And then the village would be in the middle of this. And when that happens, is they would have a field, and the next moment elephants come in and they destroy your field, and that's your income for the, you know, for the rest of the year. Everything changes when God opens a new door. You can be the tool he uses to help these ladies prosper by doing what you can to invest in their future. I dream to be a businesswoman, yes, because it allows me to be able to not ask from anybody else, yes, to also help other people. I'm this one person who loves working with her hands. So when I heard about leather, that was something very interesting. And I was like very happy because I know how to sew, but this I've never in my life seen how they make leather and all. So it was, it was good. How does it make you feel when you look at what your hands have done? Special. <laughs> it makes me feel good and that God loves me so much that with my hands, I was able to make all this. The most vulnerable women in the community are becoming the champions, pouring their love for Jesus into the next generation. We're very excited about the potential of where this thing can go as we start increasing the number of people that can produce in our part of the world. Reaching the next generation requires all of us to work together. 
It all begins with your prayers and financial support. Because of you, women and girls are transforming as they discover just how precious they are to Jesus and become equipped and empowered in Him. This is my product. <laughs> this one. <laughs>